T-Club Music Academy, the U.S. Virgin Islands' premier music school, believes that you can have fun while learning music. I'm Gloria Gums. I teach music exploration at G-Club Music Academy. Today, Micah and I will share three fun music activities that you can use in school or at home. Stay tuned to the end of this fun video presentation to find out how you can get your own free G-Club Music Academy Fun Music Activities eBook. Micah, and he's going to help me demonstrate the three fun music activities that we're going to do today. So Micah, how old are you? Five. Five years old. Well, Micah is a part of music exploration. Music exploration is a private lesson that's offered at G-Club Music Academy that's for ages three to five. And what we do is explore music with different instruments, piano, guitar, drum, steel pan, a variety of instruments and the drums and all that and so we have fun doing it don't we have fun mm -hmm. yes all right good so what we're going to do today is like i said the three uh fun music activities and we're going to start with learning the musical alphabet when we learn the musical alphabet of course the beautiful thing about children is they start learning the musical alphabet before they even start going to preschool because more likely You'll sing with your child A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and all that. But believe, believe it or not, all you've already done the musical alphabet because the main key letters in the musical alphabet are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and that's what the main letters are. So, Michael, what we're going to do is play a game, and that's one of the fun activities that you can do either in the classroom or at home to help reinforce to your child the musical alphabet of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So what we're going to do, you don't even have to use a slate, you can just say it out loud to them, but let them hear the first letter. The first letter is A, right? So let's take the balls out. So just take the ball, we have some balls in a basket here. So if Michael, help me take the balls out, please. Take the balls, I'm going to put them right here in front of us, right here, yes. Take the balls out. All right, and so Michael, we're gonna keep on going until we take most of these balls out. Yeah, you are strong. Taking all the balls out. And if you notice, I have a variety of balls, so that makes it kind of fun, because some of them like to have some squishy balls, beach balls, that sort of thing, so I have lots of different balls. So I have all my musical alphabet balls here, and I have the musical alphabet. And again, you can go along with, share along with them the musical alphabet, or you can just simply just put the balls in and say the letters. But what I require you to, for, for the child to do is say the musical alphabet letter as they put the ball in the basket. So let's pick up one, and we're going to start with what letter? A. A. Now the important thing to know is musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and after G you go back to the letter A. So let's get started. A. Go ahead and pick up the next one. Let's get going. What's the next letter? B. Toss it in. Next letter. C. Go ahead. Good job. Keep going. D. D. Okay. And what's next? E. E. All right. I'm loving this. I think you know what you're doing, Micah. F. F is next. Oh, I see. That makes a cute little sound. And what's next after F? G. G. Uh-oh, here's the important thing. After G, what's next, Micah? A. A, it goes back to the letter A. That's what Micah says, it goes back to the letter A. A, good, keep going. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. E. F. F. G. G, there we go. And so Micah had a fun opportunity. Of course he loves the balls, I mean, who doesn't? While he's learning the ball, playing with the balls, he's also getting a chance, a fun opportunity to learn his musical alphabet. Now, of course, you can do this game in a, in a classroom or at home. So it's a fun activity to do for music. So we enjoyed it, right? 
So that's the musical alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and of course we go back to the letter A. So Martha, we're going to go on to our next musical fun activity, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're now moving on to another activity. One of the important things I want to mention to you about the musical alphabet. The musical alphabet, Micah, gives you a chance to hear the different sounds of music. The musical alphabet means that whether I'm hearing a low sound, a middle sound, or a high sound, it's all reflective of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whether it's A, B, C, D, F, G, or A, B, C, D, F, G, or A, B, C, D, F, G. All the musical alphabets are on the piano or any instrument that you play, all right? So now that you understand that musical alphabet is a sound, you need to think about musical alphabet needs to go with a beat. Because if we don't have beats, we don't really have any music. So we need sound and rhythm to make music. So that's what we have here, some different rhythms. So Micah, to, in order, when you first begin to learn a rhythm, you need to kind of recognize that rhythms are different. These are two rhythms. In actuality, this is called a quarter note. And this is a half note. A quarter note gets one beat, a half note gets two beats. But when you're just beginning to learn music, one of the easiest things to do is re remember how to recognize the difference between the quarter note and the half note. The easy way to recognize is we say the quarter note eyes are closed and the half note eyes are open. So we have closed and open. So Mike is going to do a game with me, a fun music activity game, and you can do this, like I said, in your classroom or at home, and you just kind of come up with the ways you want to do it where the child can now find out whether they are really recognizing whether a note is closed or open. So I have a meal and game. I put together some ping pong balls. Now, if you don't have ping pong balls, you can use paper or you can use some sort of card, but some way that they can't see what's inside a bin, right? And so I shook them all up. I have ping pong balls that show the quarter note, which I close, and a half note, I open. So all we have to do, Micah, is all you have to do is when you take out a ball, tell me whether eyes are closed or eyes are open. That's all you have to do, okay, Micah? Are you ready for the game? You guys say yes rather than yes. Okay, good. I appreciate it. I'm shaking them up. I'm shaking it up. Are you ready? Here it goes. Now, put your hand in. And don't look. And tell me, what do you have? Now, what did you, what is it you have? Tell us, is it open or closed? Open. Closed. Look at it again? Closed. Okay, now he's saying closed. Are you sure? Open. Now, is that closed? Let, let's look at it again. Now, all we have to do, we see the picture here of the eye closed and the eye open. And he picked one, and you see that? So I want you to see which one does it look like. Does it look like this one or this one? Let's look at it again. And which one is this, open or closed? Is it open or closed? Open. It's open. So let's look at it, look at it again. Is it open? So you have to say it out loud. Is it open? Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, so we're gonna do it again. So I'm gonna take your ball. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, we're going to try it again. Now, don't forget, we're learning whether or not we can pay attention to our letter, to our notes, because beats are important to music. Our rhythms are important. Is it closed or open? So that's the first thing we need to know in order for us to start understanding the rhythm of music. Are you ready to dig in again? Here we go. Don't peek. Go ahead. Now, tell me now, again, is it open or closed? Look at it, look at it. First. Open. It's open. It's open. So let's look at it. Remember, see that close, open, and this is the one he picked. And it is open. Very good. All right, very good, Micah. Let's just do about two more, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Ah, let's see here. What do you have? Oh, you seem like being very, what, what did you find? Yeah. Tell me which one is it? Open. It's open. Very good. So let me show it to you. And that's open. So he's he's being able to see 
what the note is. It's very important because if they can't tell whether it's open or closed, then how are they going to prod the proper beats of whether the note is the, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G is going to be one beat or two beats? So this is a very important part of music, is to pay attention and to know whether the note is open or closed, okay? So that was open. Ready? Let's see again. Close your eyes and let's dig in. And again, you can use paper, whatever you like to use, but make sure they can't see it. Okay, what did you find? Micah, tell me which one it is. You can look at this. Closed. Closed. He's really concentrating. How old are you again? Huh? How old are you again? Five. Five years old? And you can tell this is closed? Very good. Look at it. This is what he got. It's closed. So again, he paid attention that he saw that the note was closed. And so once he begins to pay attention to that, he will be able to play music. Because once he understands that music has the alphabet, that music has a rhythm, we're now beginning to get a chance to begin to play music. So speaking of playing music, that's what our next game is gonna be about. It's gonna be about using of using our books and then blending that with music. So stay tuned for the next activity. Thank you, Micah. All right, so I'm back with Micah and Micah is gonna show us our next fun music activity. And this one, again, you can do in your classroom or at home. And I really encourage you to do this with your, your, student, your, um, your children at home because it's very engaging and interactive. Because as you know, music is very good for the brain, music is good for memory, music is good for um, just learning different languages. Music is all around fun, isn't it? Yes? You gotta say yes, come on. Yes. All right, I'm glad you said it. So this particular activity allows us to now use a piano keyboard or you can even use an app on your phone with a piano on it. And look, let me tell you how beautiful that is. You're taking a book that you have at home, any book, but something you know that the book that has a lot of beautiful pictures in it, okay? So make sure you use a book with beautiful pictures. And also make sure that the book that you select has a lot of repetitive words. Because in this particular activity, we're going to keep on saying, I see. And that's where Micah's gonna come in. And before we start, we always make sure we sanitize our instruments between lessons. There you go, okay? And then we toss that. All right, so Micah, so you ready? We're re ready to roll? So Micah already gets a chance to know, because he has his lessons here, about the piano. And it's important to make sure you understand that the piano has a different keys. It has two black keys and three black keys and so forth. And Micah knows that where the two black keys are, are some musical alphabet letters that we talked about. Remember it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Where we're gonna use the C, D, E, and that A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the C, D, E is right here on the keyboards. Can you hear me play? Can you play the C, D, E for me, Micah? The C, D, E. That's what Micah's doing. Play it for me again. C, D, E, very good. So Micah knows where the CDE is, and for those who don't know, you look for the two black keys, like bunny ears. You look for the two black keys, and you'll know that in front of all the two black keys will be the letter what? C, very good. So that's what that's gonna be our key letters. So what I've decided to do, I'm gonna use this book called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? is written by Bill Martin Jr and Eric Carl. And again, I'm using this book because it has lots of beautiful pictures and also has a repetition in I see. So I've already instructed Micah, when we get to the portion in the book that says I see, rather than him playing C, D, E, Micah's gonna play, what are you gonna play for us? The C and the E? So let's practice that. I, I, C, okay, let's take it a little shorter. I, C, okay? So let's make it shorter, okay? So let's hear it again, I, C. I, C, good. So every time I come across that I, C in the book, 
Micah's going to play I see. So you see how the interaction is going? And it also helps him to recognize to, uh, the letters C and E. It also helps him to pay attention. It has loads and loads of benefits. You can do this in your classroom, using an app on your phone, or at home, and have fun with your keyboard or with the app at home. Okay, great. So again, I'm using brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? You see? Okay. So I'm going to be showing the viewers what we're sewing in this book. So we start off, as you can see, a beautiful brown bear. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see. I see a red bird looking at me. Beautiful. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Look at that yellow duck. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. See the blue horse? Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? Very good. I see a green frog looking at me. Look at that green frog. You see the green frog? My mommy can like frogs. Oh, I, I can imagine. Frogs can be very scary sometimes. That's what he sees, a green frog. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see. Ah, a black sheep looking at me. See the black sheep? Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? Good job. Gold, he sees a goldfish looking at me. You see the goldfish? It's beautiful, right? Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Look at that teacher. Look at that the teacher. That looks like a different teacher. It does look like a different teacher. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? Good. I see children looking at me. Look at those children. You see a lot of children? Now let's ask the question. Let's see what the children are saying. Children, children, what do you see? I see. Oh, Micah, I think this is a question that you can answer. Micah, what do you see? Children looking at you? Mm -hmm. Huh, he sees children looking at him. Now, this is a fun activity. Again, I use this, this book called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? But as I, as I said, you can use any book. Any book that has a lot of beautiful pictures, and especially if it has big writing or writing that they can understand. And the repetition is so beautiful because they can get be a part of it. And not only just becomes a, a something that they can read, but now they can participate in a musical way. Wasn't that fun, Micah? Mm -hmm. Was that fun? Mm -hmm. That was good. All right, so I'm excited to hear that. So Micah, we're gonna now make an adjustment so you can now show the, the listeners, our viewers, what you've learned in music exploration because you got a chance to learn the musical alphabet. You got a chance to learn the quarter note and the half note and the rhythms and all that. And so now we're gonna take what you learned and get a chance to show them a song that you played, okay? It's called Mary's Lamb. So we're gonna reset and let you hear Micah play Mary's Lamb. Micah. Micah show what he learned by blending the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, F, G, along with the rhythms. 
the quarter note and the half note. He also added in there a whole note, which is four beats. That's a lot more to learn. Right, Micah? Yes. Very good. All right, you did a really fine job. And it just goes to show when you take some time <laughs> to learn your musical alphabet and learning your notes, that you'll be fine and be a good musician. But always remember, you don't have to become a professional musician in your life. Just in adding music to your life makes life even more fun. Right, Micah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. G Club Music Academy wants you to have fun learning music. That's why we've put together a fun music activities ebook that teachers can use in their classroom or parents can use at home. Just go to our website at stthomasmusicacademy.com or stcroymusicacademy.com to find out how you can get your free ebook. G Club Music Academy wants you to let music motivate your excellence.